This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today it's all about the meow and the cats because we're going to be swinging our paws around trying to get cats in the right way. Today we're looking at Kitty Paw. This is a game that's being printed here in North America by Renegade Games. It's for one to four players. Plays in quick 15 to 30 minutes, close to the 15. Now I've already done a rule school on this on how to play every rule and how to set up. So right now I'm just gonna give you a quick one minute overview. And if you wanna learn more, you can watch the video that's right next to me. You can click on that and watch the rules. And if you're on a mobile device, you can click the link in the description below. Otherwise, let's see this quick overview and then I'll see you on the other side for my final thoughts. In Kitty Paw, you're going to be simultaneously grabbing different cats one at a time out of here, and you'll be trying to grab them and create a specific sculpture of cats. Sometimes you'll be getting them out of boxes and looking for the right one that you want to get. Other times you'll be trying to figure out just the right one and which side they go on, what's orientation, and which way they go, all at the same time while different hands are going in here at a crazy pace. You'll be quickly trying to figure out which goal do you want to go for. But it takes both speed and accuracy to win at this game because you have to be the first one to get it correct. If so, you'll get some points. If you do it incorrectly, maybe, then you'll get minus points. You're trying to get the most points at the end of the game in multiple rounds. Now this game was clearly designed to be sort of a party, silly, beers and pretzels type of game where you're getting together, having some light fun with some folks, but still have some thinking. Now the game is very spatial. You're, you're looking at these puzzles and you're looking at these figures that are 2D tiles, yet they look sort of three dimensional and can kind of play tricks on your mind. Trying to put them in order. Uh, there's some spatial things going on there. There's speed. Uh, so if you like those types of things, you're probably going to like this. If you hate spatial stuff and you don't like the tense of being of, of having to be first and trying to rush, then this probably isn't the game for you. But if you're looking to have some light fun, uh, laugh around and, and try to beat your friends as fast as possible, then this might be a good game for you. Now, again, it mixes that dexterity element with the speed element, so it's an interesting mix there. Uh, and for what it's trying to be, which is a very light game to be taken lightly, to have some fun but still have some thinking engaged, I think it does that well. Uh, it's fun, you know, the whole kitty paw thing, some people are going to have problems putting their hands on there and saying kitty paw, I get that, you could just say go if you don't want to get that much into the theme. Uh, also, the whole, the whole uh, you know, put your hand up and the last person to do it loses points. Now, that reminded me a little bit of a game called Pig, which is like an old-fashioned card game where you're passing these cards around. You're trying to get four of the same number, and as soon as you do, you just kind of go like this and be quiet, and then the last person to realize it loses basically a point, gets a letter. And this had that similar feeling as a kid, as you're rushing around, you're looking at what you're doing, you're looking at what you're doing, and then you hear someone go, meow, oh, kitty paw. And, or meow, and, and, and you're quickly trying to stop what you're doing, look where it is, react, and do it. And if, when I read the rules, I thought this was going to be sort of gimmicky, gimmicky and not that fun, but it reminded me of that game Pig as a Kid, and I did like that, that your brain can't just be completely focused on what you're doing. Uh, you've got to be aware of what's going on in surroundings and listening for who's ready because you don't want to be the person to lose the point that round, but for, at the same time, you're trying to get those things be the first one to be done. So overall, uh, for what it is, it's a fun light game. If you're interested in these types of things, to do some icebreakers uh, or get the party started very lightly or end it with a fun little laughter, then that's Kitty Paw. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.